Paul Vasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 1, Section 1, Number 3, which reads, as used in line 1 and 65, directly, most nearly means. First thing we see is most nearly means, means, is a vocabulary and context question. This is a special type of vocabulary and context. You can see it's a double line vocab and context question, line 1 and line 65. Now we see two of these in test one, and we don't see them again in two until some more recent tests. And what I've found is there's a little trick to doing double line vocabulary and context questions. What you wanna do is you wanna look for what word is used around line 61 that's also used around line 65, and that has a relationship with the word directly. It's either gonna be a synonym or an antonym to the word directly. And that's going to help you to answer this question. So, going up to line one, we see that Akira came directly, breaking all tradition. Was that it? Had he followed form? Had he speak, spoke? Had he asked his mother to speak to his father to approach a go-between? Would she have been more receptive? And then we go in line 65. I ask directly because the use of a go-between takes much time. Did you catch it? What words used in both contexts? We see go between. He asked directly because the use of a go between takes much time. So it sounds like a go between is going to make the process longer. And had he asked his mother to speak to his father to approach a go between, which he been more receptive? Sounds like he, he came directly and he did not use a go between. So directly is opposite of go between. Looking at the answer choices, um, first of all, in the context, what, what's meant by go-between? A go-between is literally someone who would go between two opposing parties to bring them to an agreement. This might be in a negotiation. It might be in a dispute. In this case, Chi, um, Akira wants to marry Chi's daughter, Naomi. When we look at the answer choices, uh, he did not use a go-between. In other words, he did not use a mediator. That would be someone who negotiates a deal without mediation is your correct answer here. So you can see that it's not with precision. That's not the opposite of going directly or <clears throat> going confidently is not, um, <clears throat> is not going directly. Frankly, Sometimes you could work backwards from the answer choice. You could think of when does directly mean frankly? That would be if someone asks you a difficult question and you answer them frankly, you answer them directly, you answer them straightforward. You're not engaging in circumlocution. You're not speaking in circles. You're getting right to the point and asks, answering them directly. It's not used like that either. Without mediation is your answer here. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with vocabulary and context questions. If there's any question that you'd like to see from a PSAT or an SAT or an ACT, you could leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.